Bismuth, Wikipedia article audio. Bismuth is a chemical element with symbol by and atomic number 83. Bismuth, a pentavalent post-transition metal and one of the nictogens, chemically resembles its lighter homologues arsenic and antimony. Elemental bismuth may occur naturally, although its sulfide and oxide form important commercial ores. The free element is 86% as dense as lead. It is a brittle metal with a silvery white color when freshly produced, but surface oxidation can give it a pink tinge. Bismuth is slightly radioactive and the most naturally diamagnetic element, and has one of the lowest values of thermal conductivity among metals. Bismuth metal has been known since ancient times although it was often confused with lead and tin, which share some physical properties. The etymology is uncertain, but possibly comes from Arabic by ismid, meaning having the properties of antimony or the German words wee masse or wismuth, translated in the mid-16th century to New Latin by zamutum. History Characteristics Bismuth was long considered the element with the highest atomic mass that is stable. However, in 2003 it was discovered to be extremely weakly radioactive, its only primordial isotope, bismuth-209, decays via alpha decay with a half-life more than a billion times the estimated age of the universe. Because of its tremendously long half-life, Bismuth may still be considered stable for almost all purposes. Bismuth compounds account for about half the production of bismuth. They are used in cosmetics, pigments, and a few pharmaceuticals, notably bismuth subsalicylate, used to treat diarrhea. Bismuth's unusual propensity to expand upon freezing is responsible for some of its uses such as in casting of printing type. Bismuth has unusually low toxicity for a heavy metal. As the toxicity of lead has become more apparent in recent years, there is an increasing use of bismuth alloys as a replacement for lead. The name bismuth dates from around the 1660s, and is of uncertain etymology. It is one of the first ten metals to have been discovered. Bismuth appears in the 1660s, from obsolete German bismuth, wismut, wismuth, perhaps related to Old High German whiz. The new Latin bismutum is from the German wismuth, perhaps from wee masse, white mass. The element was confused in early times with tin and lead because of its resemblance to those elements. Bismuth has been known since ancient times so no one person is credited with its discovery. Agricola, in De Natura Fossilium states that bismuth is a distinct metal in a family of metals including tin and lead. This was based on observation of the metals and their physical properties. Miners in the age of alchemy also gave bismuth the name tectum argenti, or silver being made in the sense of silver still in the process of being formed within the earth. Beginning with Johann Heinrich Pott in 1738, Carl Wilhelm Schiele and Torbern Olaf Bergman, the distinctness of lead and bismuth became clear, and Claude Frana Ois Geoffroy demonstrated in 1753 that this metal is distinct from lead and tin. Bismuth was also known to the Incas and used in a special bronze alloy for knives. Bismuth is a brittle metal with a white, silver-pink hue, often with an iridescent oxide tarnish showing many colors from yellow to blue. The spiral, stair-step structure of bismuth crystals is the result of a higher growth rate around the outside edges than on the inside edges. The variations in the thickness of the oxide layer that forms on the surface of the crystal cause different wavelengths of light to interfere upon reflection, thus displaying a rainbow of colors. When burned in oxygen, 
bismuth burns with a blue flame and its oxide forms yellow fumes. Its toxicity is much lower than that of its neighbors in the periodic table, such as lead, antimony, and polonium. Physical Characteristics No other metal is verified to be more naturally diamagnetic than bismuth. Of any metal, it has one of the lowest values of thermal conductivity and the highest Hall coefficient. It has a high electrical resistivity. When deposited in sufficiently thin layers on a substrate, bismuth is a semiconductor, despite being a post-transition metal. Elemental bismuth is denser in the liquid phase than the solid a characteristic it shares with germanium, silicon, gallium, and water. Bismuth expands 3.32% on solidification, therefore, it was long a component of low-melting typesetting alloys, where it compensated for the contraction of the other alloying components to form almost isostatic bismuth lead eutectic alloys. Chemical Characteristics Though virtually unseen in nature, high-purity bismuth can form distinctive, colorful hopper crystals. It is relatively non-toxic and has a low melting point just above 271A degree C, so crystals may be grown using a household stove, although the resulting crystals will tend to be lower quality than lab-grown crystals. At ambient conditions bismuth shares the same layered structure as the metallic forms of arsenic and antimony, crystallizing in the rhombohedral lattice, which is often classed into trigonal or hexagonal crystal systems. When compressed at room temperature, this bi-I structure changes first to the monoclinic bi-2 at 2.55 GPA, then to the tetragonal bi-3 at 2.7 GPA and finally to the body-centered cubic by 4 at 7.7 .7 GPA. The corresponding transitions can be monitored via changes in electrical conductivity, they are rather reproducible and abrupt, and are therefore used for calibration of high-pressure equipment. Bismuth is stable to both dry and moist air at ordinary temperatures. When red-hot, it reacts with water to make bismuth oxide. Isotopes It reacts with fluorine to make bismuth fluoride at 500 A degree C or bismuth fluoride at lower temperatures, with other halogens it yields only bismuth halides. The trihalides are corrosive and easily react with moisture, forming oxyhalides with the formula BioX. Chemical Compounds Bismuth dissolves in concentrated sulfuric acid to make bismuth sulfate and sulfur dioxide. Oxides and Sulfides It reacts with nitric acid to make bismuth nitrate. It also dissolves in hydrochloric acid, but only with oxygen present. Bismuthine and Bismuthides it is used as a transmetallating agent in the synthesis of alkaline earth metal complexes. The only primordial isotope of bismuth, bismuth 209, was traditionally regarded as the heaviest stable isotope, but it had long been suspected to be unstable on theoretical grounds. This was finally demonstrated in 2003 when researchers at the Institut d'Astrophysique Spatiale in Orsay, France, measured the alpha emission half-life of 209, by, to be 7026599544000000000 a trademark 1.9 a 1019 years, over a billion times longer than the current estimated age of the universe. Owing to its extraordinarily long half-life, for all presently known medical and industrial applications, bismuth can be treated as if it is stable and non-radioactive. The radioactivity is of academic interest because bismuth is one of a few elements whose radioactivity was suspected and theoretically predicted before being detected in the laboratory. 
Bismuth has the longest known alpha decay half-life, although tellurium-128 has a double beta decay half-life of over 7031694267200000000 a trademark 2.2 a 10 24 years. Bismuth's extremely long half-life means that if the entire Earth were made of bismuth when it formed, less than one billionth of the bismuth would have decayed into thallium. Several isotopes of bismuth with short half-lives occur within the radioactive disintegration chains of actinium, radium, and thorium, and more have been synthesized experimentally. Bismuth-213 is also found on the decay chain of uranium-233. Commercially, the radioactive isotope bismuth-213 can be produced by bombarding radium with Bremsstrahlung photons from a linear particle accelerator. In 1997, an antibody conjugate with bismuth-213, which has a 45-minute half-life and decays with the emission of an alpha particle, was used to treat patients with leukemia. This isotope has also been tried in cancer treatment, for example, in the targeted alpha therapy program. Bismuth forms trivalent and pentavalent compounds, the trivalent ones being more common. Many of its chemical properties are similar to those of arsenic and antimony, although they are less toxic than derivatives of those lighter elements. Halides At elevated temperatures, the vapors of the metal combine rapidly with oxygen, forming the yellow trioxide, by, 2 o 3. When molten, at temperatures above 710 A degrees C, this oxide corrodes any metal oxide, and even platinum. On reaction with base, it forms two series of oxyanions, by OA, 2, which is polymeric and forms linear chains, and by O3A, 3. The anion in Li, 3 by O, 3 is actually a cubic octameric anion, by, 8024A, 24. Whereas the anion in Na, 3 bio, 3 is tetrameric. Aqueous species The dark red bismuth oxide, by, 2 O, 5, is unstable, liberating O, 2 gas upon heating. The compound NaBO3 is a strong oxidizing agent. Bismuth subsalicylate is used as an antidiarrheal. It is the active ingredient in such pink bismuth preparations as Pepto-Bismol, as well as the 2004 reformulation of Kaopectate. It is also used to treat some other gastrointestinal diseases and cadmium poisoning. The mechanism of action of this substance is still not well documented, although an oligodynamic effect may be involved in at least some cases. Salicylic acid from hydrolysis of the compound is antimicrobial for toxogenic E. coli, an important pathogen in traveler's diarrhea. A combination of bismuth subsalicylate and bismuth subcitrate is used to treat the bacteria causing peptic ulcers. Bibrocatol is an organic bismuth containing compound used to treat eye infections. Bismuth subgalate, the active ingredient in Devrom is used as an internal deodorant to treat malodor from flatulence and feces, bismuth compounds were formerly used. To treat syphilis, milk of bismuth was marketed as an alimentary cure-all in the early 20th century, bismuth subnitrate 94 and bismuth subcarbonate are also used in medicine. Bismuth sulfide, by, 2s, 3 occurs naturally in bismuth ores. It is also produced by the combination of molten bismuth and sulfur. Bismuth oxychloride and bismuth oxynitrate stoichiometrically appear as simple anionic salts of the bismuthyl cation which commonly occurs in aqueous bismuth compounds. However, in the case of biochlo, 
the salt crystal forms in a structure of alternating plates of Bi, O, and Cl atoms, with each oxygen coordinating with four bismuth atoms in the adjacent plane. This mineral compound is used as a pigment and cosmetic. Greenwood, NN. And Earnshaw, A. Chemistry of the Elements. Oxford, Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 0 75063365 4, Kra 1 4th GER, Joachim, Winkler, Peter. La 1 4th Diritz, Eberhard, La 1 4th CK, Manfred, Wolf, Hans Uwe. Bismuth, Bismuth Alloys and Bismuth Compounds. Ullman's Encyclopedia of Industrial Chemistry. Wiley VCH, Weinheim. Pages 171A Euro 189 DOI. 10.1002/1435600.04171 Suzuki Hitomi Organobismuth Chemistry Elsevier Pages 1A Euro 20 ISBN 978-0-444-20529 A.F. Wiberg, Nils. Inorganic Chemistry. Academic Press. ISBN 0 12 352651 5. Unlike the lighter nictogens nitrogen, phosphorus, and arsenic, but similar to antimony, bismuth does not form a stable hydride. Bismuth hydride, bismuthine, is an endothermic compound that spontaneously decomposes at room temperature. It is stable only below A60 A degree C. Bismuthides are intermetallic compounds between bismuth and other metals. Occurrence and production Price Recycling Applications in 2014 researchers discovered that sodium bismuthid can exist as a form of matter called a a euro or a three-dimensional topological Dirac semi-metal a euro that possess 3D Dirac fermions in bulk. It is a natural, three-dimensional counterpart to graphene with similar electron mobility and velocity. Graphene and topological insulators are both crystalline materials that are electrically insulating inside but conducting on the surface, allowing them to function as transistors and other electronic devices. While sodium bismuthid is too unstable to be used in devices without packaging, it can demonstrate potential applications of 3D TDS systems which offer distinct efficiency and fabrication advantages over planar graphene in semiconductor and spintronics applications. The halides of bismuth in low oxidation states have been shown to adopt unusual structures. What was originally thought to be bismuth chloride, by CL, turns out to be a complex compound consisting of Bi5+, 9 cations and Bi Cl2A, 5 and Bi, 2 Cl2A, 8 anions. The Bi5 plus, 9 cation has a distorted trick up trigonal prismatic molecular geometry, and is also found in Bi, 10 HF, 3 Cl, 18, which is prepared by reducing a mixture of hafnium chloride and bismuth chloride with elemental bismuth, having the structure, 3, 50 other polyatomic bismuth cations are also known, such as Bi2 plus, 8, found in Bi, 8, 2. Bismuth also forms a low valence bromide with the same structure as Bi Cl. There is a true monoiodide, BII, which contains chains of Bi, 4I, 4 units. BII decomposes upon heating to the triiodide, BII, 3, an elemental bismuth. 
a monobromide of the same structure also exists. In oxidation state plus 3, bismuth forms trihalides with all of the halogens, BIF, 3, by CL, 3, by BR, 3, and BII, 3. All of these except BIF, 3 are hydrolyzed by water. Bismuth chloride reacts with hydrogen chloride in ether solution to produce the acid hbicl, 4. The oxidation state plus 5 is less frequently encountered. One such compound is BIF, 5, a powerful oxidizing and fluorinating agent. It is also a strong fluoride acceptor, reacting with xenon tetrafluoride to form the XEF plus. 3 cation. In aqueous solution, the bi 3 plus ion is solvated to form the aqua ion bi 3 plus 8 in strongly acidic conditions. At pH 0, polynuclear species exist, the most important of which is believed to be the octahedral complex, 4 6 plus. In the Earth's crust, Bismuth is about twice as abundant as gold. The most important ores of bismuth are bismuthinite and bismite. Native bismuth is known from Australia, Bolivia, and China. According to the United States Geological Survey, the world mining production of bismuth in 2014 was 13,600 tons with the major contributions from China, Vietnam, and Mexico. The refinery production in 2010 was 16,000 tons, of which China produced 13,000, Mexico 850 and Belgium 800 tons. The difference reflects bismuth's status as a byproduct of extraction of other metals such as lead, copper, tin, molybdenum, and tungsten. World bismuth production from refineries is a more complete and reliable statistic. Medicines Bismuth travels in crude lead bullion through several stages of refining, until it is removed by the kroll betterton process which separates the impurities as slag, or the electrolytic bets process. Bismuth will behave similarly with another of its major metals, copper. The raw bismuth metal from both processes contains still considerable amounts of other metals, foremost lead. By reacting the molten mixture with chlorine gas the metals are converted to their chlorides while bismuth remains unchanged. Impurities can also be removed by various other methods for example with fluxes and treatments yielding high purity bismuth metal. The price for pure bismuth metal has been relatively stable through most of the 20th century, except for a spike in the 1970s. Bismuth has always been produced mainly as a byproduct of lead refining, and thus the price usually reflected the cost of recovery and the balance between production and demand. Demand for bismuth was small prior to World War II and was pharmaceutical a euro bismuth compounds were used to treat such conditions as digestive disorders, sexually transmitted infections and burns. Minor amounts of bismuth metal were consumed in fusible alloys for fire sprinkler systems and fuse wire. During World War II bismuth was considered a strategic material, used for solders fusible alloys, medications and atomic research. To stabilize the market, the producers set the price at $1.25 per pound during the war and at $2.25 per pound from 1950 until 1964. Cosmetics and Pigments Metal and Alloys Lead Replacement in the early 1970s, the price rose rapidly as a result of increasing demand for bismuth as a metallurgical additive to aluminium, iron, and steel. This was followed by a decline owing to increased world production, stabilized consumption, and the recessions of 1980 and 1981 a Euro 82. 
In 1984, the price began to climb as consumption increased worldwide, especially in the United States and Japan. In the early 1990s, research began on the evaluation of bismuth as a non-toxic replacement for lead in ceramic glazes, fishing sinkers, food processing equipment, free machining brasses for plumbing applications, lubricating greases, and shot for waterfowl hunting. Growth in these areas remained slow during the middle 1990s, in spite of the backing of lead replacement by the U.S. government, but intensified around 2005. This resulted in a rapid and continuing increase in price. Most bismuth is produced as a byproduct of other metal extraction processes including the smelting of lead, and also of tungsten and copper. Its sustainability is dependent on increased recycling, which is problematic. It was once believed that bismuth could be practically recycled from the soldered joints in electronic equipment. Recent efficiencies in solder application in electronics mean there is substantially less solder deposited, and thus less to recycle. While recovering the silver from silver bearing solder may remain economic, recovering bismuth is substantially less so. Next in recycling feasibility would be sizable catalysts with a fair bismuth content, such as bismuth phosphomolybdate, bismuth used in galvanizing, and as a free machining metallurgical additive. Bismuth in uses where it is dispersed most widely include certain stomach medicines, paints, pearlescent cosmetics, and bismuth containing bullets. Recycling bismuth from these uses is impractical. Other metal uses and specialty alloys Bismuth has few commercial applications, and those applications that use it generally require small quantities relative to other raw materials. In the United States, for example, 884 tons of bismuth were consumed in 2010, of which 63% went into chemicals. 26% into metallurgical additives for casting and galvanizing, 7% into bismuth alloys, solders and ammunition, and 4% into research and other uses. Some manufacturers use bismuth as a substitute in equipment for potable water systems such as valves to meet lead-free mandates in the U.S. This is a fairly large application since it covers all residential and commercial building construction. In the early 1990s, researchers began to evaluate bismuth as a non-toxic replacement for lead in various applications. Bismuth is an ingredient in some pharmaceuticals, although the use of some of these substances is declining. Bismuth oxychloride is sometimes used in cosmetics, as a pigment in paint for eye shadows, hair sprays and nail polishes. This compound is found as the mineral bismuclite and in crystal form contains layers of atoms that refract light chromatically, resulting in an iridescent appearance similar to nacre of pearl. It was used as a cosmetic in ancient Egypt and in many places since. Bismuth white can refer to either bismuth oxychloride or bismuth oxynitrate, when used as a white pigment. Bismuth is used in metal alloys with other metals such as iron, to create alloys to go into automatic sprinkler systems for fires. It was also used to make bismuth bronze which was used in the Bronze Age. The density difference between lead and bismuth is small enough that for many ballistics and weighting applications, bismuth can substitute for lead. For example, it can replace lead as a dense material in fishing sinkers. It has been used as a replacement for lead in shot, bullets, and less lethal riot gun ammunition. The Netherlands, Denmark, England, Wales, the U.S., and many other countries now prohibit the use of lead shot for the hunting of wetland birds, 
as many birds are prone to lead poisoning owing to mistaken ingestion of lead to aid digestion, or even prohibit the use of lead for all hunting, such as in the Netherlands. Bismuth tin alloy shot is one alternative that provides similar ballistic performance to lead. Bismuth's lack of malleability does, however, make it unsuitable for use in expanding hunting bullets. Bismuth, as a dense element of high atomic weight, is used in bismuth impregnated latex shields to shield from X-ray in medical examinations, such as CTS, mostly as it is considered non-toxic. The European Union's Restriction of Hazardous Substances Directive for Reduction of Lead has broadened bismuth's use in electronics as a component of low melting point solders, as a replacement for traditional tin lead solders. Its low toxicity will be especially important for solders to be used in food processing equipment and copper water pipes although it can also be used in other applications including those in the automobile industry, in the EU for example. Bismuth has been evaluated as a replacement for lead in free machining brasses for plumbing applications, although it does not equal the performance of leaded steels. Other uses as compounds Toxicology and ecotoxicology Many bismuth alloys have low melting points and are found in specialty applications such as solders. Many automatic sprinklers, electric fuses, and safety devices in fire detection and suppression systems contain the eutectic in 19.1 CD 5.3 PB 22.6 SN 8.3 by 44.7 alloy that melts at 47 A degrees C. This is a convenient temperature since it is unlikely to be exceeded in normal living conditions. Low melting alloys such as by CDPBS and alloy which melts at 70A degrees C, are also used in automotive and aviation industries. Before deforming a thin walled metal part, it is filled with a melt or covered with a thin layer of the alloy to reduce the chance of breaking. Then the alloy is removed by submerging the part in boiling water. Bismuth is used to make free machining steels and free machining aluminium alloys for precision machining properties. It has similar effect to lead and improves the chip breaking during machining. The shrinking on solidification in lead and the expansion of bismuth compensate each other and therefore lead and bismuth are often used in similar quantities. Similarly, Alloys containing comparable parts of bismuth and lead exhibit a very small change upon melting, solidification, or aging. Such alloys are used in high-precision casting, e.g. in dentistry, to create models and molds. Bismuth is also used as an alloying agent in production of malleable irons and as a thermocouple material. Bioremediation Bismuth is also used in aluminium silicon cast alloys in order to refine silicon morphology. However, it indicated a poisoning effect on modification of strontium. Some bismuth alloys, such as Bi35PB37SN25, are combined with non-sticking materials such as mica, glass, and enamels because they easily wet them allowing to make joints to other parts. Addition of bismuth to cesium enhances the quantum yield of cesium cathodes. Sintering of bismuth and manganese powders at 300 A degrees C produces a permanent magnet and magnetostrictive material, which is used in ultrasonic generators and receivers working in the 10A Euro 100 kHz range and in magnetic memory devices. Bibliography Scientific literature indicates that some of the compounds of bismuth are less toxic to humans via ingestion compared to other heavy metals presumably due to the comparatively low solubility of bismuth salts. Its biological half-life for whole body retention is reported to be five days but it can remain in the kidney for years in people treated with bismuth compounds. 
Bismuth poisoning can occur and has according to some reports been common in relatively recent times. As with lead, bismuth poisoning can result in the formation of a black deposit on the gingiva, known as a bismuth line. Poisoning may be treated with dimercaprol, however, evidence for benefit is unclear. Bismuth's environmental impacts are not well known, it may be less likely to bioaccumulate than some other heavy metals, and this is an area of active research. The fungus Marismeus oreads can be used for the biological remediation of bismuth in polluted soils. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Brown, R.D., J.R. Annual Average Bismuth Price, USGS.